Plus, it's a sensitive topic for people around the world. Rich Shamiro shows us how doctors are now using robots to battle baldness. That's coming up in your tech report. For a lot of men, hair loss is a fact of life, but now doctors can restore hair more efficiently than ever before with a little help from a special robot. This is a calic, by the way. It's not a sure. bald spot. Rich Shamiro has the details on today's tech report. Now, from the AT&T U-Burst studio, sponsored by at and Hair transplants used to mean long visits and big scars, but new robotic technology is making the process faster and less invasive. It's a sore topic for men around the world, baldness. I just turned 40 last year, and I realized that my hair had gotten a lot thinner, and it was something that it was upsetting me. That's when John Quinn decided it was time to take action. What I was concerned about was what was the effects after it was done? How would my scalp, how would my head look? As he investigated solutions, he came across a procedure that uses a robot to lend a helping hand, making the new hair look more natural. When people think of hair transplants, they still go back to the old plugs. Dr. Craig Ziering is an expert with more than 20 years of experience in hair restoration and an early adopter of the artist's robotic system. The system enables us to remove grafts one follicular unit at a time, but with tremendous precision. Artist uses digital imaging software to map out an area behind the head where hair still grows. A robotic arm takes follicles from there, then implants them in the trouble spots. And the doctor will still make the incisions for where the grafts are going to grow, and the staff will put the hairs into those sites. Hair is plucked at random, so it doesn't leave any odd-looking patches. The precision of the robot means less scarring and shorter recovery. Quinn got the procedure about a year ago. Healing only took about three days, and he's happy with the results. It's the compliments that your friends or family or people say, oh, something's a little different, or your hair looks different. The procedure takes between four and eight hours per session, depending on the patient, but you will pay the price for getting your full head of hair back. The treatment costs anywhere from seven to $15,000. Learn more at thetechreport.tv. I'm Rich Demiro. That's your Tech Report. Thank you, Rich. Some good information for people who are looking into something like that. <laughs>